talked about it. a very confusing night on a variety of levels. A short time ago, James Harden met with the media and he talked to them and Michael Grady about that. Hey, James, the, the Kevin situation confusing for everybody watching. For you out there on the floor, seeing him pulled before the game started, come back, pulled again in the third quarter, what was it like for you out there? Uh, it's frustrating, especially, if, you know, you know, we follow the protocols, we get tested, you know, every single day. Um, so I don't understand the whole thing where he didn't, he couldn't play, and then he came on the court, and then they took him back. It was, it's just a lot going on. It's too much going on. It's kind of overwhelming, you know, especially when we're in, a, in the midst of a, a tough game, and, and, like, these games are going to add up, especially if we're talking about playoff seating. We're talking about, you know, positioning our, ourselves and, you know, to, to, you know, home court advantage and whatnot and catch a rhythm and all that, you know. So I feel like, I don't know. I don't know. It's just it's overwhelming. It's frustrating. Um, yeah. Have you had an opportunity to, to message him or, or see where his where his head is at before he, you guys leave? He, he feels the same way, you know, especially, you know, him already having it. And, you know, we get tested, like I said, every single day, um, you know, so, and I, I mean, he's been negative, you know, so I don't understand what the problem is. Um, if that was the case, the game should have been postponed. I feel like if, you know, we're talking about contract, uh, contact tracing, he was around all of us, you know, so I don't understand why he was, uh, wasn't allowed to play and then was able to play and then took back off the court. If that was the case, we should have just postponed the game. That's how I feel. Um, but through the midst of it, it was tough. Give Toronto credit, they made shots, they played well. Um, but yeah, it's frustrating. Blake Andrews, ESPN. Hey James, in the midst of sort of all that frustration, did you find it hard to sort of refocus? Did you have kind of questions going on in your head like, hey, what's going on? I want to pay attention to that. Or, or what was kind of the balance there of trying to be like, oh, we still have a game to play? No, we, we definitely have a game to play, but uh, we're bringing it in a huddle and coaches drawing up the first play of the game. And, you know, we're like, where's Kevin? And Kevin can't play. It was like, all right, cool, whatever. Uh, all right, so then we're starting the game up, and then Kevin is able to play. It's like, all right, let's go. Then Kevin can't play again. It's like, all right, come on, what are we doing? You know, so it's just, you know, we try to focus on the game, try to focus on possession by possession, try to, you know, get a rhythm because we started off slow. Um, we're, not, we're not here to make excuses, but it was just, it's a lot. You know, it's a lot. Thank you. Alex Schipper, The Athletic. James, kind of going off your, your last comment, did you ask at all the, during the game, the coaches or anything, what was going on with Kevin? Or because it was because you did have a game to play, you were just kind of going with the flow with all that. And, and when he was around, he was around. And when he wasn't, you asked questions later. Of course I asked what was going on. And they said, you know, they just said, they just said contact tracing. And I'm, and I'm thinking to myself, well, if it's contact tracing, then we were all in the locker room together. <laughs> that means there's no game, you know? Um, if he's not going to be able to play. So, you know, that's that's what, that was my thought process. And you know, once he, once we started the game, I kind of forgot about it. And then Kevin enters the game. I'm like, well, I don't know. It must have been a confusion or some a mess up or something. You know. So we kind of like, you know, we caught a rhythm. We came back, started playing well. And then he can't come back on the floor. It's, I don't know. It was a lot. Like I said, it's overwhelming. Uh, we're not we're not taking anything away from Toronto. They played an exceptional game. They made made shots when they counted. Uh, they played, you know, scrappy basketball like we knew they were were, were going to do. Um, for us, we just couldn't catch a rhythm, you know. And when we finally did in that second quarter, we played, we started playing well, and then we just got kind of stagnant again in that second half. So, um, yeah. Christian Winfield, New York Daily News. Hey James, does does a night like tonight kind of make you look at the idea of an All Star game or All Star weekend or whatever any differently? I mean, a lot of guys have been voicing different opinions. I'm wondering where you stand on the on the subject. I mean, I, I, I mean, I haven't said anything publicly, but I feel the same way as some of the players as far as, like, you know, so much going on as far as we're trying to, you know, calm a virus down and, um, you know, we're putting on an event, you know. I don't know. I mean, I know what the reasoning is for it, but, you know, I feel like, especially with a condensed schedule and it's, it feels like everything was forced upon players. It's already draining. We playing a lot of games in, in a week. And I feel like that was a week for us to kind of relax, be with our families and kind of take – you know, take a step back away from basketball, um, you know, so like I said, we're just, we're, we're just in it.